everyone, this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and I was so honored to be invited to the after party for Macmillan and Fierce Reads on Friday night after finishing BEA. And this is the really cute bag they gave us, and you can write in the quote bars, and you can have your favorite authors write as well if you take it around to signings, which is what I wanted to do with the last one that they gave me that was this bag. My favorite author said to me, and then you let them write the notes. And I figured we would take a look in the bag at some of the brand new upcoming titles that you can expect to see from Macmillan soon. First we have some cute little swag. We have a dog tag that says Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia and on the reverse side it says you're stronger than you think. So I really like that message. I think it's a really important thing to believe in and it's really cute that they chose that to put on the tag. Next, we have some super cute buttons from Swoon Read, which is an imprint where you help choose the covers and pick the books that are going to get published. One says YA and Slay, one says No Read Garrett, which is hilarious, and one says Treat Yourself. And I love just, I love the puns. It's so funny. And another pin set for I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu, which I just read her brand new book, which is The Way You Make Me Feel. And it was super cute and I reviewed it and we'll post the link below. And it is one of my favorite contemporaries so far this year. And the pins say I Believe in a Thing Called Love. All's fair in loving Korean dramas, and I fail at flirting but excel at reading. So those are really cute as well. This is a bookmark from Swoon Reads that says Unput Downable. And a quick guide to how it works. You write it, you read it, you share it, and you love it. So it's telling you a little bit about how Swoon Reads works and how you two can get published with them. There is also a Swoon Reads postcard you can lit with us. And that also tells you the instructions. I'll just show it to you again in case it's something you're thinking about doing. I got this beautiful poster featuring one of my favorite books of the year, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Yami. It says, they killed my mother, they took our magic, they tried to bury us, now we rise. And when you turn it over, it has praise for the book. This and To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo are my two favorite books of the year. And ironically, they came out the same day from the same publisher. So that is really beautiful. There's a poster for Renegades by Marissa Meyer with some of the artwork that was just released this year for some of the characters. And if you go online, you can see it as well. And it shows you what Dana looks like in human form and when she transforms into Monarch. What Nova looks like as Nightmare. What Adrian looks like as the Sentinel. What Oscar looks like as Smokescreen. And then what Ruby looks like as Red Assassin. And at the bottom it says, do you have what it takes to be a hero? King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. This is coming out in January. It's so gorgeous. It has raised foil. And you just get a little preview of what's to come. And this is the first book in a brand new series. And it is going to tie the world of Shadow and Bone with the world of Six of Crows. And it's all going to tie together with this book. So you do want to read those first because there will be spoilers. If you even look at the summary for this, there are spoilers to the second book in the very first series. So you have been warned. A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney. I'm really excited for this. This is an author that I followed on Twitter before she became an author. This is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland and it is diverse and own voices and it is going to be so badass and I'm really excited to read it. Next we have Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McLemore and this is a retelling of I Believe the Swan Maidens and it is about sisters and this is another one I will be featuring in September when I do my annual fairy tale event. Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tachoke. She previously wrote both Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea and Wink Poppy Midnight. The cover's not photographing well because it's late and dark and the lamp lighting at the hotel just isn't great, but the cover is gorgeous. Unclaimed Baggage by Jen Dahl and What We Buried by K.A. Borman and the back cover is also really cool for this one. So those are all of the books that were featured this year at the Macmillan party. Actually, I think that's not true. Different bloggers got different bags, so all the bags had something different in them. So I was really excited to get these. Some of these I knew about, some of them I didn't, and I am excited to learn more. Let me know which ones sound interesting to you and if you've read them already and let's have a chat and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!